Guys, this is part two of installing mods for your Valheim server. So previously, you guys saw the, uh, this will be a part two of that video. So I forgot to left out about the SH part. Um, as you guys saw in the last video, um, one, my microphone wasn't loud enough so you guys could barely hear me because I was far away. And two, <clears throat> I forgot to mention something. Uh, because I recently figured out that the mods are not, um, well, they weren't being loaded towards the server. So, you do not want to use the SH. What you want to do with the SH is you want to take the SH, for some reason, this is either Rebenex's fault or is this, this is Valheim's uh, developers' fault. But more than likely, it's just Rebenex didn't know how to implement it correctly or something. So what you want to do is you want to left click, drag, copy, control C, then you want to go to your batch file, you want to click edit, <clears throat> and here's where things get tricky. So all the stuff that says rim note, blah, 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 you could delete that, whatever. Uh, also, you still have to change the I-86 part to a valheim.exe the only difference you're going to make is you're going to take this so in your default batch file from cmd you will get this valheim underscore server uh no name you know it'll say valheim server name uh port world blah 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 password nothing you want to left click hold Control, copy that. Actually, you just want to delete the rim note part. Now, this is where things get tricky because this is part of the PowerShell issue. So, like I said, from the .sh, a.k.a. the Linux. Okay. The reason why I keep saying PowerShell is because Windows uses PowerShell for SH files by default. So you want to go to bepinex.sh file, copy all of this, all of it. Then you want to go to your .batch file, click edit, and then you want to copy and paste it below this line. Now don't ask me, well, how, why does it work this way? Why isn't it just... Uh, because apparently, for some reason, it will not just go through here and activate the, the Bepinex mods. So, you want to copy. No graphics, etc. Or, or delete the rim notes part and keep these parts. And this part as well. And then you want to go start up your server. Now this is an important step because like I said the mods would not did not load uh when I just did the default. Uh it's shipped uh PowerShell thing. It just gave me an error that says process ID, blah 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 blah, you know, that sort of thing. <clears throat> and then you should get something that shows up like this where it tells you Bepinex version server and then obviously the server name and then it should show the preloaders under the preload it should start doing the the Then you go over it down and it should do this. So I don't know what's going on. It seems like there's an issue either with Bepinex or Valheim. Uh, the way they have their Steam CMD set up, obviously, by default, would not work this way. So I'm running. This will obviously still only run run the server. So if you're confused and think, 
oh well this is going to start to start no it's not uh some of the startup scripts will be duplicates but other than that the server should load just fine and you shouldn't have a problem also because they said that they you should not put your server name uh password in the server name a lot of people are already doing that so i don't know why people are saying don't do that but you can do that it's not going to hurt anything whatever now i already did this video earlier but i did it too slowly and i was having the issue with better ui and that's another topic i want to bring up too so unfortunately the masa better ui is outdated it does not work this one is outdated it does not work mm. recently i just figured out that aga is the one you want to go download so if you want to find aga you can find it on a nexus mod if your better ui is obviously not letting you jump and all that stuff this is why uh you want to go over here and download aga as you can see it'll do this all this blah 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 now i don't know if it, if it does the better ui uh, but it says that it does not support better ui so but we will see what happens so we're going to go ahead and do valheim with vulcan now i just saying for for the people for the, the places that want to do uh, for Valheim, this is important. Because it's a big deal. Um, the Xbox controller buttons would not work correctly. Uh, what I mean by this is you can't just plug it in and not have Steam uh, configured. Yeah, whatever. Now, whether Aga fixes that or not, I guess we could try that out right now. Because I have an issue with changing the resolutions. Or the, the refresh rate. As you can see, it does not work. This is an issue. And Valheim needs to fix it. Um, but obviously this mod's not going to fix it. So we'll click start. We'll find the... I'm going to remove that world. Yes. I'm going to do new. BBR... T Y whatever start and then you'll get this thing <clears throat> now keep in mind this will take a little bit of time before it decides to load because you have a console and the game open at the same time um, unfortunately, for some reason, Bepinex doesn't like to, how can I say it? So when I create a world, it says missing the dot DB, which would obviously be the database for this, you know, for the, for the world. So at first it's going to take a while for it to load up the game and make the world. Uh, this is an issue because, well, I never had this issue until just recently. So I, if you're listening to the Spepinex, hopefully you guys will fix that problem out. Uh, because technically, 
when you create a new world, it's meant to create a new world, but it seems like it's just immediately trying to load the world that doesn't exist because obviously creation, right? Also, there's a problem with placing the tar pits according to the console. So there's a couple of small bugs with Bepinix right now that it's apparently failing to place a few things. Um, it's obviously immediately trying to load the world, but it's supposed to be created because you click create. And with Valheim, I'm just, this is just a tip for Valheim. Please, please fix your laggy game. Please. This is a dead serious problem. I understand you would have used Vulcan, but please add the option for Direct X or OpenGL. I know you guys can do it. I know you guys can do it. I understand you would have used Vulcan, but not everybody is capable of their computer supporting Unity as much as they could better support it, uh, have their computer support UpaGL DirectX. This is an issue. Now, whether you can fix it or not, by 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 means, don't. If you can't, don't. That's all I gotta say about it. But if you can, please do. I am sick and tired. Like like even the pixelated version, will go into certain locations or dungeons or something. The last time I had an issue was when I was Why is the controller not working? Settings, gamepad, yes, enable gamepad. So for some reason my gamepad is also not working. don't know why so if I shift and tab ah that's another problem so just a little heads up and a little feedback for uh, Olga your mod is amazing I love it already the only thing I suggest is if you make it so that shift plus tab does not open the menu because Steam. Because now I can't open the Steam controller settings. So if I unplug the controller and I plug it back in, give it a few seconds, I'm going to lag a little bit. Bill to get the operation completed. Okay. Joystick reconnected. The steam is taking it into consideration. So. I, I don't know what's wrong with it. Or why it's doing that. It's not letting me use a controller. Let's try. Maybe it's because it thinks it's a uh, Xbox controller. Anyways, let's see if this UI works with uh, enemies. Before I stop this in this video. So this is a different version of player UI. Again, we're playing on Vulcan. I'm lagging. Don't know why. Don't care. I also have a first person mod, which is pretty good as you can tell. So we're looking for an enemy. So if you're going to use better UI, do not use a better UI. It does not work. Um, 
This is obviously client sided only. This will not. You can go on the server and it'll show the UI as is. Lag is not just by the server, it's also by the game itself. It, it, it has this issue. It's just something you can't fix unless you remove Steam uh, early. Alright, can I find some enemies so I could see if the enemies show a enemy HUD? And this matters because on my server using Bepinex and Creature Loot, uh, Creature Level and Loot, <clears throat> It's supposed to show things like the stars and stuff. But since this is a new world, obviously they're not going to give us enemies right away. For some reason. Alright, so right now it's spawning graylings, but I don't know where it's spawning graylings. Listen game, I just want an enemy. Oh, nice and blind. Nice. At least I'm not lagging so bad that I can't. I just wish I could find out where the boars and the graylings are. Because there it is. And uh, there you go. Now obviously it's not going to show the numbers. It's just going to show the bar and the stars of it. And then if obviously it doesn't want to show you what level it is. It'll do a question mark. A couple question marks. So hopefully this tutorial helped. Like I said, you can catch me on LG Vampire. We'll be playing today. So if you see this part two version of fixing the thing, please let me know. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video, maybe. I'll leave tomorrow. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe you'll catch me on Twitch. Who knows? See ya. Peace.